um, just want to talk to you a little bit about culture um, and um, some of the aspects of that. I'm putting thoughts together while I'm talking to you. Um, we've we've discussed the uh, we've discussed some of the aspects of this, but I, I don't really think that most textbooks bring out the importance enough of your environment in terms of your cultural beliefs. Cultural beliefs are incredible. It's your um, view of the world and your view being what it is you think is correct. So, and nobody really sets you down always and formally tells you how to do things. It's done by observation. For the most part, there are certain things that are that are strictly formally presented, such as religion uh, and how to behave in certain situations. But by and large, you're learning this stuff from a um, from the standpoint of of observation. So when when I go into a given situation, I know how to behave. I know what to dress, uh, what to wear rather, how to dress. I know what uh, is expected of me when I eat. I once had lunch with a guy who ate uh, macaroni salad with his hands. Maybe that's normal in his household. Uh, Number one, we didn't eat macaroni salads in my house, but uh, had we eaten macaroni salads, we certainly wouldn't have used our hands. We did eat macaroni and cheese, uh, and we didn't do that with our hands. So I'm, what, the point I'm making is you are the product of what you've seen. Um, as you get older, that may change. But initially, what you see mom and dad do, or whoever your primary caregivers are, <clears throat> then that becomes the way things are done, so to speak, and that's what you'll do. You'll do those things unless told otherwise. <clears throat> or as you get older, sorry, I got a frog. <clears throat> as you get older, you will make decisions, uh, I think probably guided more than anything else by the comfort level. I don't like doing whatever it is that way, so I'm going to do it a different way, as long as it's acceptable. And sometimes it isn't. Uh, that's why we have people called convicts. But uh, you, you are influenced, you're affected, and then you respond by what you see around you, what you see done around you, what you see said around you. It's the same in all cultures. That's why cultures are different. The basics are the same. The basic needs are all the same. I've been on a lot of places in this world, and I can tell you firsthand that uh, everybody has the same basic needs. Uh, nobody wants to be lonely. Everybody wants to eat. Everybody wants to belong. Nobody wants to be outcast, uh, so on and so forth. There's so, there are many. So um, you're, you're unique in who you are, but you're a member of a group and your group's called your culture. And we could get into subcultures and countercultures. We won't do that right now, just for a later discussion. Uh, cultures within cultures, some harmful, some not so much. Uh, so that's kind of where you are in terms of why you do what you do, why you think how you think. Uh, contrary to popular belief, we don't conjure up all those things. Uh, you will make decisions as you get older. Uh, moral values change uh, and priorities change. These all they don't really change your culture as much as they change how you interact with culture. So you make those decisions uh, as you grow, as you grow within your culture and as you uh, progress through what we call uh, the lifespan development. So there you are. Hope that uh, Hope that gave you some information and uh, I'll see you around.